Hello, my name is Steve Wright. I'm the Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Houston. On behalf of the City of Houston and all the families and the communities, we wanted to express our thanks to NRPA for providing funding to help us provide programs, recreational activities for all the children within our communities. The Houston Parks and Recreation Department has been working with the Fur High School Green Ambassadors to engage young people in promoting health and wellness to fellow students. The goal of the program was to involve youth and teens in fitness programs and nutrition programs. We were charged with the responsibility of meeting the goal of HEPA standards. And what, what this was, the HEPA standards were the standards that we had to accomplish by exposing both youth and teen populations with adopting and being physically activities, not only with nutrition, but physical activities as well. The Commit to Health Youth Ambassadors are enlisted to create and lead activities across the city. To me, this is really important. I, f I feel like this is a, a, a something that every kid should go through um, because Kids remember everything, and I, can, I remember when I was a little kid, I still remember things from back then, so imagine them now, how whenever they do Zumba and they grow up, they're going to be like, I remember doing that. I remember learning about healthy eating habits, so it's really important for me. This is the second year that the Houston Parks and Recreation Department has been a part of the Commit to Health Youth Ambassador Project. The lessons learned in this first year have translated into an expanded program. This year's uh, Youth Ambassador Program was unique because our first year we had, we knew like what our challenges were and but the second year we were able to work more with the kids and more, do more of like Zumba kid friendly songs and more activities. Uh, we knew what we were getting ourselves into and um, we were planning way ahead uh, before we started the program on how to bring the most out of this one hour that we had with the kids. So to me, it, w it was really amazing. It worked perfectly fine. Um, we didn't have any struggles at all. So it was, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. The new activities underscored the value of exercise in healthy eating with a continued focus on fun. Because I like running and jumping, because I like to um, exercise. To be physically active is to stay in shape, keep your body healthy, eat, eat the right protein, drink, um, eat the right meals that you're supposed to eat once playing sports, to stay in shape. Extra emphasis was placed on healthy eating to combat childhood obesity and form good eating habits that could last a lifetime. You talk to an adult, it's way different when you talk to a kid. And you know, getting both of the different worlds, it's, it's pretty cool because you know, you have to be more animated, more creative, I made this really cute chart that has a, my plate, and I t teach about the, you know, the vegetables and the fruits and everything. But the kids really take it in consideration. You know, some of them open up during some of the questions, and oh, I want to just point something out. Um, they even say, you know, it, uh, diabetes runs in their family, you know. But I think involving them and getting that um, that mentality, you know, focus focusing on their eating habits in, from a young age is really important because. You know, kids absorb everything, all the information, and if they have it within them, I think it's really important because they're going to grow up with that mentality of, you know, being healthier. These activities were expanded to include the benefits that parks and the natural environment can play in a person's physical, mental, and social well-being. The nature aspect was an added component 
for the uh, healthy eating and physical activity to where we actually uh, connected the participants into the nature component rather than them having them inside with the televisions and things of that nature. So it was more focused upon the mental health aspect to where at the same time we did the overnight camping excursions with the Houston Teens Outside with Nature program. And with these overnight camping excursions, we actually implemented not only physical activity with the geocaching programs, uh, with the interpretive hikes uh, at different state parks, but at the same time, what we did was implemented healthy eating by allowing the youth and teen participants to actually do their own meal prep with all types of vegetables and grilled meats to where they can actually put together these healthy recipes that they were responsible for creating and we would then grill the recipe that they put together for themselves and that would actually be their dinner. So we tried to infuse everything to be just one wholesome activity for the participants doing the overnight camping excursions. The NRPA Commit to Health program is making an impact on all the youth involved including the youth ambassadors. When I first started the program, I, I didn't see myself to where I am now because working with kids changes you, changes you a lot and in a good way, so thank you.